Here is a quote from the Bible, a book of fiction. And put a knife to your throat if you have a ravenous appetite. Proverbs 23.2 So the alleged creator of all life would want the famished to commit suicide. Really? If you gave life to a child and it was starving, would you command it to take its own life? That sounds like a very sick and psychotic man-made idea. Something Charles Manson might come up with. How about this quote from the Bible? This is what the Lord of Hosts has to say. I will punish what Amalek did to Israel when he barred his way as he was coming up from Egypt. Go! Now! Attack Amalek! and deal with him and all that he has under the ban. Do not spare him, but kill men and women, children and infants, oxen and sheep, camels and asses. 1 Samuel 15.2-3 So the alleged creator of all life would command others to murder men, women, children and infants, as well as oxen, sheep, camels, and asses. It just sounds like a murderous kook. Certainly not gods. And how about this fine quote from the man-made book, the Bible? The people of Samaria must bear the consequences of their guilt, because they rebelled against their god. They will be killed by an invading army. Their little ones dashed to death against the ground, their pregnant women ripped open by swords. Hosea 13.16 The supposed giver of all life orders pregnant women ripped open by swords. Really? If this isn't enough proof for you to discount the man-made Bible as pure fiction, you fit into the category the FBI uses to characterize serial killers like Christians Ted Bundy, David Berkowitz, and others. The FBI says nearly all serial killers are Christians who quote Bible verse. The Bible is a book of known fiction written by men.